Uh, Mike, it's January, so we'll start with, with transfer dealings. Obviously, you've got a, a few through the door so far. How's, how's everything looking at the moment? It's looking good. Um, it's looking very competitive. We we inherited a big squad and it, it's growing. Um, so as a nature of the window, um, I'm sure it'll smooth it, itself out. Um, but we've added we've added quality, so we're really pleased. Any any new incomings on the horizon? Um, yes, uh, potentially. Um, we've uh, um, again, it's it's one of them where we've we've got a, a list of priorities and, and we're working through. But the business we've done, we're we're really pleased with. So um, hopefully, in the next day or so, we'll have something else to report on. Um, what sort of areas do you think you, you, you need to be strengthening? Obviously, you know, you said you've got a, you've got a big squad, but it's always nice to have you know potential additions and, and, and improvements on what you've already got. Yes, um, it's difficult to narrow down one area really. Um, I think that in nature of the industry, as much as um, you know, we want the lads to um, really enjoy coming in every day and uh, have that security of, of where they are and moving forward. It's the nature of we've always got to be moving forward, and if we stand still, it's, it's going backwards. So, competition is never ended, and we're always looking to improve and the quality uh, on the pitch. So, for us. Um, you know, we, we've got a real strength and depth in many areas um, and we're not specifically looking for any area, um, but I can't say if somebody you know, comes out of the woodwork who uh, we think will really add quality to us, um, we won't go for them. I suppose that's the joy of January, isn't it? Is waiting for those surprise packages to potentially pop up. It is, it is. And like I say, we've got a, a really good group. So one thing I don't want to do is unsettle that. Um, I spoke a lot about the chemistry coming in. I think um, that is the, it's been the main um, ingredient uh, by landslide of why we've been able to pick up the points we have. So yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, mess with that, but I do want to add quality. So I think the lads, you know, we've we've got enough experience in there um, to understand that and to help the young lads to to know that you know competition coming in um, is only going to improve us and uh, the players themselves. And we mentioned them briefly uh, in the post-match interview on Saturday, but Kyron Lofthouse and uh, Dan Kemp obviously coming into the, the side on, on Saturday. How do you think they got on? Because, you know, they look like they fitted in straight away. Yeah, um, you know, you'd think it's, it would take time, but, you know, they, they came in and they hit the ground running. I thought they, uh, again, two really good lads who just want to buy into everything we do, really open and receptive. Um, and I thought, yeah, they both both were, were excellent. So um, still... Uh, more to give, I think. I think the the, the longer they're in training, I think the, the more understanding they'll get, the more they'll embed themselves in. But yeah, I was I was delighted with their impact. Um, we'll discuss just some uh, some injuries then. Obviously, Ethan Robson missed out on on Saturday. How's he getting? On? Yeah, good. Um, it was um, yeah, it was, it was a strange event, but um, he was in quite a lot of discomfort um, after the warm up. So it was it was enough to to need him to go to hospital and get checked out. But luckily enough, it's all come back. It's all clear. Um, so he was he joined in training yesterday, and um, hopefully there's nothing changed on that um, front. But uh, yeah, we've got we've got lads coming back now. So again, it adds to to my conundrum. But Dan Harvey's training, um, Tux is not far away. Ash Hunter um, is back in and around it. Wiley won't be long. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got lads that are, are stepping over and um, hopefully yeah, add add to the group. And how's Mac Dennis getting on? Good. He's out of the boot now, so um, he, he's looking strong. He's he's uh, good around the place, um, and yeah, it's just a work in progress now. Small steps for the moment, but he's a specimen, so it gives him opportunity to work on on a, other areas. So when he come, does come back, he hits the ground running. Um, obviously, ninety seventh minute winner uh, on Saturday. Probably a little bit too, uh, probably a bit later than probably your heart would have, have, have liked, I think. Um, but late goals seem to be a thing at the minute for, for MK Dons. Obviously, it was the, the winner against Colchester, as a late one against Crawley as well. And obviously, against against Morecambe a few weeks back, there was a, a goal in stoppage time. Um, those late goals show that your team never stops, does it? Uh, you know, it's, it's a constant, constant thing from whistle to whistle. And you know, when something might switch off in ninety, your team keeps going. Yeah, and I think that's the reflection of the group we've got. Um, we talk about. 
trying to be relentless in, in our endeavour and in, in every area, every metric. Um, we'll always be pushing. We will never be the finished article. But um, it's the same that Busty picked up. I'm not sure where from, but um, we only run out of time. We don't give up trying. So, you know, in games where we, we haven't got the points, it's, it's a matter of just running out of time. Um, it's not from our attitude and our mentality because, yeah, we, we push to the final whistle, which, yeah, reflects in those last-minute winners. And reflects in, in Ellis as well because I think all four of his goals have come in the last 10 minutes of games. Yeah, again, I said after the game, it's, it's thoroughly deserved. He's he's a great character. Um, had to uh, you know sit with him and um, explain the amount of game time and he's totally, he understands the situation. You've got Max up there who's, who's flying um, um, and he's happy to, to play a huge part off the field and then come on and play a huge part on the field. So again, um, really pleased to have him around and the influence he's having. And it's important, isn't it, to have those those sorts of players who who are willing to to wait their turn and and, and be patient because, you know, ultimately you can only pick eleven, but there's a massive squad waiting behind. Yes, certainly is, and I think yeah, he's got that maturity, he's he's got that understanding, um, and it's not easy because I think that is the hardest part in management is is picking. Um, only a selected group of players and, and leaving players out, but hopefully that you know I can get them to understand that it's it's about pushing and just raising their standards, and they have to see it in that way to improve themselves, and it will improve the group in turn. Um, Morecambe, then a team that we've seen relatively recently, um, they've not had a, a great run of form since um, since we went up there at the uh, end of December, but you know no, no game's easy, is it? And, and finally a return to, to Stadium MK this year. Yes, um, well, they, you know, I thought they had a good result at uh, the weekend. Um, I know Mansfield are obviously favourites for, for automatic. Um, they've made a few um, signings since we've played them, um, and yeah, we're looking forward to it. We know they're going to be extremely hard working, and we're going to have to match that. We're going to have to match their intensity, their, their discipline, and their physicality. But we always talk about we focus on the way we play and how we can go about it. Um, Three one was a, a fairly comprehensive scoreline, but the game probably didn't. Match up, match up like that. Did it? It felt a lot, lot even more even than than the scoreline maybe suggested up there. Yeah, yeah, spot on. I think the scoreline um, in the end it looked comfortable, but it wasn't like saying Maxi getting a last minute one. But um, it was in the balance for long stretches, and uh, say that's the the concentration that we have to uh, make sure that our levels are high because at any moment. Um, opposition and ourselves have got players that can can hurt teams and score um, off you know, nothing really. So yeah, we've got to be make sure that we're on our metal and uh, we're focused. Uh, our levels are as high as it can be.